Hi, I'm Adele, founder and CEO of Be Pampered, a proud Canadian company. Today I'm going to walk you through how to do an eyebrow lamination in 15 minutes. You can purchase our kit at shopbepampered.com where you can get access to our certification and online free training. So this is how I like to set up my trolley for my eyebrow laminations. I like to have everything out and ready and easy to grab, especially when we're working with our lifting lotions and we have such finicky processing times. I don't want to have to be digging around for anything. So I like to have everything out and ready for me to use. So I have my biodegradable cling wrap. I like to have two uh, unrolled pieces ready for me to grab. I don't like to use the same one at uh, both steps because I don't want to have the number one lifting lotion um, touching the number two. So I have two clean strips here. I have my ring light from my before and afters, some cotton rounds, a fresh bowl of water. I have my oil-free cleanser, my lifting lotions, and then I have all my tools set up here. All the tools that I would be touching the client with and their skin, I like to kind of keep it separate from all of my products to avoid cross-contamination. And then I have my after sort of retail products that I can talk to my client about my highlighter and my brow soap. So I also have my henna stuff out because I like to kind of upsell my lamination clients with a henna treatment afterwards. Um, so I just have that out and ready to go so I don't have to dig around for it. And then I also have my drawer of um, Q-tips here, just easy, out, ready to grab. Alrighty, let's get started. Okay, so before we get started, I'm first gonna give her eyebrows a cleanse with our oil-free cleanser. So I grab my cotton rounds and we just want to remove any excess oils, any makeup, anything that would be left on the skin just so that we can make sure there's no barriers between the lotions and the eyebrows. So today we're going to do our no glue technique which is a lot faster and you just get way better results. Plus you can get this done within 15 minutes. So now that we're cleansed, I'm gonna go over one more time with my exfoliating brush. And I'm just gonna give a gentle circular motion massage here on her eyebrows. This is gonna get off any dead skin that may uh, interfere with our lotions. So I'm just going to take my cotton round with a little bit of water and I'm just going to wipe away the excess cleanser. Make sure it's all nice and clean. At this point, we want to assess the brows and make sure that they're healthy enough to do the brow lamination. If you find that the eyebrow hairs look very weak, um, and there's not a lot of them, it might be better to suggest a henna treatment. Um, if you find that their hairs are all pointed down and they're very stiff and stubborn, then you wanna assess the time to be around four to five minutes. So you wanna really keep an eye on the eyebrows when you're doing the brow lamination. So I'm gonna just jump right in there with my number one lotion. What I like to do is I put two pumps per eyebrow. So I put four pumps on my hand. I get my timer ready. I'm gonna set it for five minutes. And I'm just gonna scoop the lotion up with my spoolie and put the product right there and just go right over the brow. You don't need to worry too much about the placement of the brows at this point. We will kind of go through it at the halfway mark and do it then. And if you need extra, I just kind of 
take the spoolie really hard and twist it and it gives you a little bit of extra product. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the other brow. And then we're going to set our timer for five minutes. So we're gonna click start. I'm gonna take my cling film and you're just gonna kind of press down and pull up slightly just to make sure that it's all nice and flat and in that area. And again, you don't have to worry too much about these spots here because we're gonna go through halfway through and comb that out with our Y comb. But I just wanna take a second to talk about our cling wrap. We've got a biodegradable cling wrap. I think it's the first on the market. Um, we're very passionate about the environment at Be Pampered. So it was very important for me to create this product. This is why we didn't have a cling wrap before because it took a little while because we are the first in the market. Um, so there's so much in here. I think there's 200 meters in here. So this is gonna last you a really, really long time. Um, I like to have my cling wrap out on the tray first so that I'm not fumbling with it while I've got their lotions on. So when your timer has hit the halfway mark, we're gonna take our Y comb and we're just gonna go through and brush the hairs into place. So now the hairs are more pliable because the lotion's been sitting on them. And we're gonna take the Y comb and make sure that all the little hairs underneath are all pointing in the same direction. And at this point, you can kind of assess their brows, like how much longer do we need? Is the remaining two and a half minutes okay for her or should we leave it on a little bit longer? If you're finding that there's still some that are stuck, st sticking straight up and they're not laying down, you might wanna leave it on for about another, literally 10 to 15 seconds. So I'm going to just apply that back down and then we'll do this one. This is the fun part for me because you just get to put them wherever you want them to go. So her hair is pretty much going where we want it to go and it's staying still. So I think we're going to stick with our five minute time. Okay, so her time is up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw the cling wrap away because I don't wanna use it on the next step. And I'm gonna take my silicone brush and just in an upward motion, just remove all the excess lotion. So we're just gonna go through. And then I'm gonna take a wet Q-tip and we want to stop the activation of the lotion. So we're going to go through and make sure that it's all done with because we don't want to over process the brow hairs. It's very easily done and we know we're done. So I'm just going to go right through there. And then same with the other brow. We'll take all that lotion and I like to just kind of keep going in an upward motion. It's important when you're doing the brow lamination to go in a more natural shape. You don't wanna be pulling them directly up when you're doing them because they just look like crazy brows. You wanna kinda of have a slight curve so that they're going in the direction that they're made to go in. So a wet Q-tip to stop any activation. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch to the dry side of the Q-tip and just go quickly over just to get off any excess water, any excess moisture that's on there before we apply our second lotion. 
And then we're gonna go and we're gonna repeat the step exactly how we did with number one. So we're gonna take our number two lotion, two pumps per brow on the back of your hand. We're gonna take our spoolie, we're gonna make sure it's clean of all the number one lotion. So what I like to do is just grab a Kleenex, kind of twist and pull, and it makes sure that all that extra lotion is off. And then you can actually even dip it in the water and do that again. So I'm going to take our number two lotion, same as before, apply it to the brow. And again, we don't want to bring the brows straight up like this. We want it to be in a nice curved position. And then the other brow. I'm gonna set my timer for five minutes. Sometimes when I've gotten a little crazy with the lotions, I'll just take a Q-tip to get any excess that's not even touching the brow just so that it's not sitting on her skin. And then we're gonna take a new clean cling wrap. And same as before, we're going to press down and pull up a little bit. Okay, so now that we're halfway through our timing, we're gonna do the same as we did with our step number one. And we're just gonna take our Y comb Make sure all that product is evenly throughout the brows and just brush them into place and then reapply our cling wrap. And then we'll just leave them to sit until their processing time is done. Okay, so our five minutes is up. So I'm gonna remove the cling wrap. And again, pulling in an upward motion any excess lotion that's left on the brows. And then go and deactivate it with water and a Q-tip. So the water is really important at this step I get a lot of questions on why you use water and you don't use water in your aftercare. Um, it's because we're only doing it once and we're still in the processing stage. If the client goes home and they start using hot water and steam, it's just gonna relax the perm and it's just gonna make them go back to normal. So we always advise no hot water, no steam for 24 hours. And then just be aware of the placement of the brows. We wanna kinda of keep them in the upward motion. So again, some water. So at this stage, you can tweeze or wax the eyebrows. I'm going to leave them because we're going to apply some henna in the next video. And you always want to wax or tweeze or remove hair after the treatments are done, not before. So to finish it off, I'm gonna do the number three lotion. I do about a pump per brow. And I'm just gonna apply it to my spoolie and brush through the hairs. You wanna use quite a bit at this stage because we're rehydrating the brows. If we don't use enough, they'll dry out. They'll kinda go frizzy. Plus this kind of hardens over time in the next maybe 20 minutes. And so it'll help hold those brows into shape for as long as we need them to be held into shape afterwards. 
So then I'll just kind of go over and just clean up the excess around so that we don't have any product sort of sitting on her skin. So again, I'm gonna advise no hot water, no steam for 24 hours. I tell them to kind of keep them in the shape that they're designed to be in right now. Um, and then after a couple of days, they can kind of brush them however they want. So that's how you do a no glue lamination in 15 minutes. If you have any questions, you can email us at hello at bepampered.ca. And I also can't wait to see your transformations on Instagram. Be sure to tag us.